Welcome back to First Chapter Friday. Today we will be reading Spin by Lamar Giles. Chapter 1. Kaya. I did not kill Paris Secord. I should have told the two police officers staring at me from across the table, though they hadn't asked. There'd been other questions about the night. I answered as honestly as I could, as honestly as felt smart. Yet I wanted to state, unequivocally, that I was not the murderer here. Sweat made my shirt sticky, like a licked envelope, even though the tiny room was cold. You go to cook high? Detective Barker asked. Through my damp shirt, I clutched the oblong charm that dangled from my nylon necklace and rested against my chest. Yes. My daughter was an eagle, class of 97. He dragged a finger down the sheet in the open folder before him. How did he have a paper about me? And this? Sophomore? I'll be a senior in the fall. I did not kill Paris Secord. Even rehearsing it in my head seemed too loud, too fake. I did not kill Per. If I understand the situation correctly, your friend Paris was a DJ known for throwing impromptu parties in unsanctioned locations? Pop-ups? Yeah. Not so much these days. Something changed with her? She got busy with her music production. My hands kneaded into each other, worked invisible dough between them. Help me understand that a bit more. I'm an old guy. That means what exactly? She made songs, the beats, sometimes lyrics, but not always. She made it all sound good together. This was more than a hobby. She had a song go viral some time ago. Then she did it again and again. Bigger artists have come wanting to work with her. I heard J. Cole had some interest. You heard? One of the detective's bushy eyebrows lifted. Not from her? No. There hadn't been many meaningful conversations between us lately. That last real talk was just mean. More name-calling than career updates. I had a feeling some of this stuff they already knew. How could they not? Paris was famous. Maybe not get mobbed in the mall kind of fame? Not yet. Her name rang out in Virginia. And with music heads in general, she was on her way. And now she wasn't. My hand kept working, even though I willed them to stop. Nothing was in my control that evening, not even my own body. I pressed my palms flat against the table. Stay, I shouted inside my skull, only slightly more convincingly than my silent assertion of innocence. The camera just above the interrogation room door caught every bit of me acting weird while answering the simplest questions. When the cops rewatched this video, I'd look guilty. If they ever played it before a jury, I'd look guilty times 12. Is there something you want to tell us? Barker said. He was dark-skinned, like me, with matted black and white grandpa hair that looked like he had been rolling in baby powder and coal dust. He'd smiled when he walked into the room, and I remembered wondering if they'd found a black man who smiled so I'd forget the badge was on his belt and say something wrong. Were his simple questions meant to make me act weird? Like a trap? I did not kill Paris Secord. Hey, hey, Kaya. His hands raised, palms facing me, a sign of peace. His smile twitched away. He looked as frightened as I felt. I only asked because you were moving your lips a moment ago. Moving my lips? I mouthed words when I got nervous. I probably mouthed jury. An expert lip reader might tell that I was already thinking of a way to trick the jury because I was 100% guilty. His partner, a silent, youngish, white policeman, who was scary in a way I was used to, burst into the room, making me yelp. He held a box of Kleenex. Only then did my vision blur from an accumulated tears that spilled over. I accepted the tissues, and oh God, Paris was gone. 
Staying quiet was the smart move. They hadn't arrested me. They never read me those rights cops read criminals on TV. I didn't know if that was a good thing or a bad thing. I only knew that silence was always advised. How many movies had a lawyer yelling at their innocent client to keep their mouth shut? But there was one thing I needed to say, out loud, once, and make it sound true. I did not. Something crashed just outside the interrogation room. Shrieking curses followed. A general sense of panic soured the air inside the Ocean Shore Police Department's second precinct. Barker and his partner rushed from the room, joining a couple of ununiformed officers trying to contain the destructive lunatic who should be in here, handcuffed, maybe muzzled too. I did not kill Paris Saccord. I had absolutely nothing to do with her death. Could all her so-called friends say the same? And that concludes Chapter 1 of Spin by Lamar Giles. Thanks for listening.